Hive Arcade is out today! And what better way to start the day off by giving you guys a video on the tips and tricks for the bridge. Enjoy! Position it. You just want to like run, play splugs. So let's go down, let's do it. We'll do that, do that. Look, I literally have okay high ground there. But um, it is quite a small scale what we've done here. But like, you'd, you'd carry on running, then you'd bridge up even more. It just gives you that high ground. Your opponent then has to maneuver around it, which will then go on to the second one, which would be called war running, which is really hard, especially on bedrock since there's mobile players and also controller players. But like, all you want to do is you just want to learn it and then you know, spam blocks, do that. When someone is like towering up, so Dan, if you could just tower up for me, that'd be great. While he's towering up, you at the same time you'd be moving forwards. So if you think about it, you're getting closer to his, uh, his, his base, he's not really getting anywhere. So while he does that, you just jump past, wall run, and then you're in to his base. Here's the next tip, low grounding and combat. So like Dan here has towered up on me right there. I switched to this, even though he's got more of an advantage in my side. He can barely hit me there. Like, I just get decent knockback there. Like, I'm already up a hit, if you know what I mean. It's like that, and then you can also just do this thing. <laughs> the, the, the cheeky block trap. <laughs> the next tip would be, if this bridge gets too messy, say like, you know, it's too stacked up or something like that, instead of warring if you're not that confident in it, branch out, make another bridge. I'm not going to have enough blocks to do it, but, you know, making another bridge is not a bad idea. To go along with this bridge that I've just done, don't only make one. You could confuse your enemy by making multiple bridges, even if it's just like, two blocks or something, anything, you just run along any bridge, it just gives you many more opportunities to get past your enemy instead of coming through all of this again. So now that I'm using my bridges, you can just like go across any bridge, go across, oh wait, Dan's, Dan's trying to hold me here, I don't need to go across that bridge. You could just try and confuse him by like jumping bridge to bridge, do anything, like he's missed his bow aim, and then you know you just use your blocks, BAM! <laughs> 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 and then you're there, but like you'd have to fight him. I don't want to fight him. Most <laughs> 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 murder. So defending is also a key strategy. You can do that, even jumping in there, that resets you. Hit him down, that's perfect. Now I can get him. Still alive, not anymore. Block traps. You craft so this guy's gone. See how this guy's gonna bypass? Void, void, and you can respawn. The only way of getting better, because most of you are probably gonna be asking how to get better, it's just by playing. It's literally just by playing the game. We play the game, we're actually going to go. So on the count of three, we will both start the game. Let's go. Well, let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah we don't need three. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs>